Emerson Dambuzo Mnagangwa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Zimbabwe Mheshimiwa Rais karibu Your Excellency Samia Suluhu Hassan, Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and the first gentleman. Mweshimiwa Samia Suluhu Hassan, Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Mungano wa Tanzania, pamoja na mme wako. Madam Janet Magufuli and members of the Magufuli family. Mama Janet Magufuli na wana familia. Your Excellencies, heads of state and government, and may I also recognize the chairman of the AU, His Excellency, President Chisekedi Chilombo. Waishimiwa wakuu wa inshi na serikali, naomba mniruhusu kutambua uwepo wa mwenyekiti wa jumuiya ya umoja wa Afrika Mheshimiwa Rais Chisekedi Your Excellencies members of the diplomatic corps and the people of Tanzania Mheshimiwa mabalozi pamoja na watu na wananchi wa Tanzania Today is a dark day in Tanzania in our region and the whole of our continent. Siku ya leo ni siku ya giza sana hapa Tanzania katika ukanda wetu lakini pia katika bara zima la Afrika. We in Zimbabwe join you as we mourn a giant who dedicated his life to the service of his people and the cause of our continent in different capacities sisi wa zimbabwe tunamlilia sana mheshimiwa rais kwa sababu ya maisha yake aliyojitolea kwa tumikia wananchi wake lakini pia kulitumikia bara lote la afrika on behalf of the government and the people of zimbabwe and indeed on my own behalf I would like to convey my deepest condolences to Your Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and Mrs. Madam Janet Magufuli and members of the Magufuli family, as well as the government and the his revolutionary people of Tanzania for your sad loss. Kwa niaba ya watu wa Zimbabwe na kwa niaba ya serikali ya Zimbabwe na kwa niaba yangu mwenyewe ningependa kutoa pole nyingi sana kwako Mheshimiwa Rais Samia Suluhu Hassani kwa mume wako kwa mama Majaneti na familia kwa kumpoteza huyu ndugu yetu We in Zimbabwe mourn with you Sisi wananchi wa Zimbabwe tunaomboleza pamoja nanyi we have lost a friend of our country, a dear brother, a comrade, an admirable leader and a man of the people. May you take comfort and solace in the awareness that our thoughts and prayers are with you, the people of Tanzania. Tumempoteza ndugu yetu, kaka yetu, kamaradi wetu na tunaomba mpate faraja kwamba mawazo yetu na maombi yetu ya yanaelekezwa kwenu. Your excellencies and fellow mourners. The late President John Pombe Joseph Magufuli established a reputation as a man of action in order to hasten the pace of development for Tanzania. Mheshimiwa viongozi ndugu wa umbelezaji wenzangu Mheshimiwa Rais Magufuli alijenga heshima ya kuwa ni mtu wa vitendo ambaye alikuwa tayari kwa ajili ya kuharakisha maendeleo ya Tanzania He was a true pan African 
who believed in the need for Africa to increase economic cooperation and trade for the benefit of our peoples. He was a leader who led from the front, who was passionate about the welfare of his people and the development and prosperity of Africa as a whole. Alikuwa ni mwana majumui wa Afrika ambaye aliamini kwamba lazima lazima Afrika lazima ifanye biashara na ili kujiendeleza kiuchumi. Zimbabwe was inspired upon learning that Tanzania had attained lower middle income status 5 years ahead of target. Na Zimbabwe ilifurahi sana kusikia kwamba Tanzania imeufikia uchumi wakati miaka mitano kabla ya wakati uliopangwa Indeed this is one of the main milestones of achievements which a testimony of the astute incisive and focused leadership of the late president John Pombe Joseph Magufuli Kwa hakika haya ni maendeleo makubwa na ni alama kubwa ya mipango na maendeleo ambayo Mheshimiwa Rais Magufuli aliyafanya kwa ajili ya kuharakisha mabadiliko ya kiuchumi nchini mwake. In the Southern African Development Community SADC, the late President Magufuli was chairperson from August 2019 to August 2020, during which he ably steered the regional ship towards inclusive and sustainable industrial development increased intra regional trade and job creation katika kipindi chake akiwa mwenyekiti wa SADC kuanzia mwaka 2019 Oktoba na hadi mwaka 2020 aliweka msitizo mkubwa katika maendeleo ya viwanda na utengenezaji wa ajira the late president magufuli was always unwavering on calling for the region to stand together on matters of principle Mheshimiwa Rais alihamasisha sana viongozi wa jumuiya ya SADC kusimama pamoja na kusimamia misingi ya uongozi We the people of Zimbabwe who always remember him for the pivotal role he played as chairperson in having SADC set aside the 25th of October as a day for the collective call for the removal of the illegal sanctions imposed on our country na by the Western countries. Zimbabwe tutamkumbuka sana mheshimiwa rais kwa kuamua kutenga tarehe 25 ya mwezi Oktoba kwamba ni siku kwa Afrika kuinua sauti zao dhidi ya vikwazo ambavyo Zimbabwe iliwekewa. His visionary leadership and legacy who remain anchored in the history of Sadiq. Historia yake itabakia alama katika eneo la Sadiq. In, in 2019 Zimbabwe was devastated alongside Mozambique and Malawi by cyclone Idai and Tanzania was the first African country to donate tons of food and medical supplies but uh, na mwaka 2019 Zimbabwe pamoja na, na Malawi zilipungwa na kimbunga cha dai na zikawa na njaa kubwa na mheshimiwa Magufuli alikuwa ni kiongozi wa kwanza kabisa katika eneo la Sadek kutoa msaada wa tani nyingi za chakula but i would like to narrate what happened he telephoned me at night when i was sleeping Nataka niwasimulie kilichotokea kwamba alinipigia simu usiku nikiwa nimelala. Then when I realized it was President Magufuli I attended. Na and he said, said nilipotambua kwamba ni mheshimiwa Magufuli nikapokea simu hiyo na ndipo akasema, My dear brother, I know you have been struck by cyclone Idai. What can we do as Tanzania to assist? Akaniuliza kaka yangu najua kwamba mmekumbwa na kimbunga cha dai na sasa ni nini ambacho nadhani Tanzania inaweza kufanya ili kuwasaidia Then I said my brother you may assist with food he said yes with blankets 
he said yes. With medicines, he said yes. But because I was sleeping with mosquitoes, he said, oh, mosquitoes? He said, no, 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 I meant mosquito nets. And of course with tents. And indeed, the following day in the evening, a, pl a plain lord of Air Tanzania arrived with those things. Na siku iliyofuata jioni ndege ya Tanzania ilifika ikiwa na misaada hiyo. I want to assure you your excellency president Samia Sulu Hassan and the heroic people of the United Republic of Tanzania of the continued support solidarity and cooperation of the people of Zimbabwe as you pursue the dreams and the vision you shared with the late departed President John Magufuli. Mwishmiwa Raisi napenda kukuhakishia kwa niaba ya wananchi wa Zimbabwe kwamba tutaendelea kuwaunga mkono kwa dhati kabisa katika jitihada za kuendeleza kuyafikia maono na ndoto ambazo mmekuwa nazo pamoja na hayati magufuli The late president Magufuli paid a state visit to Zimbabwe and when he did so as he did to South Africa he brought boxes and the boxes of Swahili books Najua mheshimiwa Magufuli alifanya ziara kule Zimbabwe kama alivyofanya kule Afrika Kusini na alipofika alikuja na maboxi mengi sana ya vitabu vya Kiswahili but he was delighted when I told him Zimbabwe already offers a degree in Swahili at one of our universities. Na akafurahishwa sana kusikia kwamba Zimbabwe tayari ilikuwa ikitoa masomo ya Kiswahili katika moja ya vyuo vikuu vyake. Then he asked me whether I had been to Tanzania before. Alipo kaniuliza kama nimewahi kuwepo Tanzania hapo kabla. Naam nikasema ndio. I said the people of Tanzania are a revolutionary people. They gave birth to the independence of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Nikasema wananchi wa Tanzania ni wananchi wa kimapinduzi kabisa. Kwani walileta ukombozi kwa taifa la Zimbabwe. I told him that I came to Tanganyika at the time in 1963 and we opened our first camp with Frelimo at Bagamoyo. Tanzania mwaka 1963 na ndipo tukafungua kambi yetu ya wapiganaji ya kwanza kabisa kule Bagamoyo. We were only 59 cadres. Tulikuwa makada 58. So he promised that when I reciprocate his visit to Tanzania you would allow me to visit Bagamoyo camp. Na akaniahidi kwamba nitakapofanya ziara rasmi hapa Tanzania atanipa fursa ya kutembelea kambi ya Bagamoyo. I'm happy to say to you the people of Tanzania when I came over he did facilitate and I was taken to Bagamoyo camp where I then donated 60,000 US dollars. Na ndipo nilipokuja nikafanikiwa kwenda Bagamoyo na nikaweza kutoa dola 1060. May he so sana. Roho yake ipumzike katika amani ya milele. Mungu bariki Tanzania, Mungu ibariki roho yake. Asante sana. Ah, asante sana mheshimiwa uh, Emerson Dombuzo na Gagwa, Raisi wa Jamhuri ya Zimbabwe. Waita hako.